Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another Disney Universal Funko Pop couple. Woohoo! Where today's another beautiful day, so we're gonna go on a picnic in a park that we like to frequent. But before we do, we're gonna hit up Target just in case they have any of those Ninja Turtle Pops that just released recently. They look really, really cool, and I love Ninja Turtle things, so let's go! Hello again, old friend. Getting ready for our date! And as usual, the clearance section is pretty, well, whatever. But it looks like they have a turtle's backpack. Where's the other turtle stuff? Maybe I got the date wrong. I don't know. Have you seen Leonardo? Ooh, dive characters sound fun, but these folks don't really seem like the type to dive with. Yeah, this is more like it. Hello, friends. And I'm really tempted with this frost giant Loki. I don't really collect Marvel stuff, but he is an adopted brother, so... Something that I'm still trying to figure out with like Target and Walmart and you know the releases of these bigger stores is uh, how often they release stuff and how often things remain on the clearance shelves and yeah I wonder how much the Guardians of the Galaxy Pops are gonna take up space before they move in some new stuff. It's all new to us, right honey? Yeah, we're still learning. Like, I can't wait until a new line of pop sodas come out, and I can't wait until a new line of Funkos j in general just come out. The Guardians of the Galaxy ones are kind of like, eh, you know, they're, they're all right. Just a lot of Marvel stuff in general. I'm hoping that soon they release more of a variety. Next, we're going to hit a place called Disc Traders, and then we're just going to go to the park and enjoy our day. Hello, Disc Traders. You know, my wife doesn't really like this place because of the smell, but I love it. It's musty. Oh, hello, Angus. This was from Raya? Huh. I mean, come on, I do love the Hulk, and maybe this is from a video game or something, but w what is this? Eh, ten bucks, not bad. Ah, 22, you are very, very cool, but, you know, I'm just hesitant to get it because the box is in kind of meh condition. It's only ten bucks, but, eh. Oh, look, it's Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. You know, I would get this pop, but I'm afraid she'd ruin everything. I love how a lot of pop sellers really make you look up to find anything. It's a little too far, I can't really see anything clearly, and I thought I'd share that with you now. Although that giant Superman pop is clear as day, you know you can't fly, right? And why not mix a villain with a superhero? I mean, that's... I, uh, this is... This place does really have a big collection of games and DVDs. It's quite impressive. You could be here all day. And look at this Gamora. I think she's just a little too golden, but uh, we love Gamora. And they have a lot of Disney Infinity figures. Those are pretty cool and a lot of GBA games. And a slew of Super Nintendo and Sega and all that other fun stuff. Oh, Minnie, when will we ever get sold? When we're affordable. Today was just kind of whatever. I took you into a couple places that we like to frequent, Target and Disc Traders. That's a really cool store. They didn't have anything that caught my eye today, but at least we got to go look. It's always nice to look once in a while. So now we're gonna head to the park. Ah, Nature. If you watch our other vlogs, you know we love Nature. Nature's good. Nature's good. Life is good. Remember to enjoy your day, y'all. Okay, so on our way back from the park, we ended up going to Galactic Toys and just looking around, and while we were there... FOMO is real. It is. FOMO is real. I'm feeling it. Our pockets are feeling it. Hi, Galactic Toys. Let's go inside. Look at all the pops you have. There's nothing really new here, but we just like to look. Oh, Alice is curtsying this time. How sweet. Thanks, Alice. Oh, Mirabelle. Oh, Battle 11. Okay. Uh, oh, you have a bloody nose. Ah, this is so cool. We love Appa and we love Avatar. We're on the fence about collecting Avatar stuff, but I mean, oh, it's Appa. And it seems like they have an endless collection of Harry Potter stuff as well. I love that. Ah, uh, it's fourth year Hermione after she hit puberty and everyone thought she was really pretty. Hello, Harry. You're holding a snitch. Inspector Gadget. Six bucks. Woohoo! Hi, Penny. And I am so confused right now. I do not know why this pin is only $7.95 and there are 14 of them available. What? And I guess this is my lucky day because they also have a Marvel vs. Capcom Captain Marvel vs. Chung Lee set for only $6. What is going on? And though we don't really regret our purchases, they're still just, it's just, FOMO is really real. Today, we are deciding no more pops for at least a month. We're gonna do it. We can do this. 
help us do it. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing that my wife and I have learned during this experience so far, is that you gotta take your time, you gotta not let FOMO kick your butt, your shelves will be full before you know it and you won't know what to do. <laughs> but with that again, we don't regret what we bought and we're gonna show you really soon. But before we do, please hit that like and subscribe button. It would really help us get out there. Uh, maybe we could get monetized and slowly start making the money back that we spent on this content. And we wanna reach out to all of those casual collectors out there just like us. And much love and thank you so much for listening to our spiel and let's share what we got now. All right, first up, this is my guilty pleasure, but no regrets purchase here. It was only $6, and you know me, I love Street Fighter stuff. And though it's not the title Street Fighter, it is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's Captain Marvel vs. Chun-Li 2 Pack Pop for only 6 bucks. And it's so cool, look at this. It is Captain Marvel on the left side, rocking some spunky glasses and a cool outfit, and then Chun-Li on the right with some cowboy boots and uh, a very interesting costume. And again, I love Street Fighter stuff and I have no regrets buying this. It comes in this set. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully look for all of these. I'm not sure I'd pick it up, but definitely the Mega Man X versus Rocket is also on my list. Maybe I'll find it for $6 as well, who knows? But nonetheless, this was a guilty pleasure buy and worth it, $6. Check it out if you find it in your stores. Hopefully it's six bucks there too. All right, next up is a guy from a series that we truly love. And this is actually a really good deal. It was only 20 bucks comparative to what his original price point is. He's from the boys. He's one of our favorite characters in this show. Can you guess who that is? Can you guess who it is, fellas, ladies? Is it Billy Butcher? It's Billy freaking Butcher. Oh, it's my favorite. I've been eyeing on this guy for several weeks, actually, maybe more than a month. That's and true. they were selling him as a like a set with uh, Queen Maeve and Translucent and Billy Butcher. And I was like, well, can I just get Billy Butcher? And finally, Billy Butcher was available and we really love Billy Butcher. He's so cool. And also they're reprinting um, this number of the boys Billy Butcher at Entertainment Earth, but I don't know if that's the only place that is going to reprint this character. But he doesn't have the blood stains on his face anymore when you look at the new design. So I wanted to snatch him before somebody takes him. Aren't you so cool? He is so cool. No, you're so cool. He is so cool. And now I need Homelander. Maybe there's a chase of Homelander. I don't know. That I don't know. Chase the chase, chase the Homelander! And finally, from Galactic Toy, everything is purchased from Galactic Toy today. Shout out to Galactic Toys, they're such an awesome store. Um, we found these really weird clearance items that, to me, don't make sense to be clearance. Um, they are pop pins, but they're chase pop pins, and it is the Avatar Ang pop pin chase. He's so cool and he's glittery and he was only $7.95. Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> so we bought two. <laughs> there were quite a few of these, so we didn't we didn't clear it out and become those scabbers or whatever, but we had to get a couple of these because they were only $7.95 and they're chases. They were just sitting there. What an awesome little purchase. These are so cool looking. I'm so happy. I love Avatar, by the way. Avatar is one of my favorite animated series of all and time. And mine as well. And my wife's as well. We love that show. I think everyone loves that show, right? And who wouldn't jump on this opportunity? Apparently a lot of people. So we took advantage of this little situation and we got two of these for about a half of the price of what they're actually worth individually. There, are, you can't even find those. It's so weird. It's such a rare thing. Thank you, Funko Pop, for putting them in the clearance box by mistake. Oh, uh, the common, the common one is being sold at five dollars. The chases are being sold at like sixty dollars. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. This is why these are guilty pleasure purchases, but we don't have any regrets because even though we went a little lot over our budget for this month, uh, actually for the next month of June. I mean, come on. I mean. Come on, these are awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Have you ever heard of these Ang chases before? And uh, would you collect the pop pins or are you collecting the pop pins? And if so, what's your favorite one? I think so far this is mine. 
And that's all we bought today. That's all we got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. Originally, this was supposed to be one of those episodes where we tell you, hey, it's okay that you don't buy anything. Hey, it's okay if you have a day where you're going hunting and you don't see anything that you want, or maybe you just don't have the budget. You should still look around and stuff like that and just enjoy your day, but it turned out to be a guilty pleasure buy episode instead. I'm glad you got to watch us guilty buy some stuff. And we're also learning as we go because we just started collecting pops and some other collectible stuff so i hope you are having fun with us and hope to see you soon and be sure to look out for more content that we're going to release that's not really funko pop related you know we want to share our experiences that we've had on disney cruise and in the disney parks and universal studios you know we also love harry potter things and uh right now we're just in a funko pop phase we're brand new to this hobby so we're cranking out a bunch of episodes in a row but hopefully you'll start seeing some other stuff too so stay tuned and thanks for watching Bye!